These are the 20 craziest plays in NBA Finals history. And at number 20, Steph Curry did the impossible. Shot clock winding down. Curry's going to have to put it up, launches it up. Shot clock. Oh, he knocks it down. Steph Curry with the shot clock expiring. Damn, the shot was wet. But at number 90, Michael Jordan's play had NBA legend stun. Pippen. Yes. Oh, they are unconscious. When he came down the lane, he can do the impossible. Now, all right, a layup's cool and all, but at number 18, LeBron turned the finals into a dunk contest. James up and under, throws it off the backboard. Oh, what a perfect pass to himself. Uh, oh my God, LeBron's really out here passing, rebounding, and scoring all by himself. Only thing LeBron didn't do was humiliate his biggest fan, like Allen Iverson at number 17. Iverson, bothered by Lou. Iverson, yes. How about that? And that steps over to Ron Lou. Like, just growing up, I still idolized him. I snatched away from him, and I don't know how the rest happened. It was just a reaction. I didn't know I did it. One of the most disrespectful ways to walk away. AI's play hit the 76ers turn their entire Instagram into pics of it. But at number 16, Giannis's play had Twitter going nuts. It was game four, and with the Bucks down in the series, they needed this win, cuz. We all know Giannis ain't pulling off a 3-1 comeback like LeBron. Regardless though, with a minute left and the Suns trying to pull off a game-tying play, it was up to Giannis to save the day. Now Booker with Tucker on him. Throws it up for eight. Shot blocked by Antetokounmpo. What a block from Giannis. Dude really defended both stars in one possession? No wonder why the Bucks crowd went ape shit. No wonder why fans come to us one of the best defensive plays in NBA history. And no fucking wonder why I made the entire NBA whip out their Twitter fingers. But that was only one play. At number 15, Jordan Poole had two of the craziest plays in the same series. Launches. The pool wasn't done there. Nah. Three games later. Fourth rebound Wiggins. He's got three seconds to get a shot off. Wiggins to Poole. Poole gets it off in time. Oh, he banks it in. He banks it in. Just look how close that was to not counting. His second buzzer beater of the series? Jordan must have seen some baddies in the crowd again or something. But at number 14, Larry Bird made one of the craziest trick shots in NBA Finals history. Seven minutes left. Larry Bird. hit that while falling out of bounds. I guess white boys can jump, but not even he embarrassed one of the NBA's best players like Kevin Durant at number 13. Pass up some good veterans on their bench. Oh, pass all the way across and Durant throws it down. How did that pass get there? It was a turnover. Oh, Katie caught LeBron slipping. But at number 12, Klay Thompson not only embarrassed someone, he made history at the same time. Thompson against Smart. Thompson finds some room. Puts it in. Largest lead of the night for Golden State. An eight-point advantage. Timeout, Boston. Oh, my God, dude. Clay made Smart look like a dumbass. That shot put Clay second on the list for most threes made in finals history. But at number 11, Kobe Bryant predicted the future. Here comes Kobe. Less than five. The way outside. Got it. I was going to get the ball on this play no matter what. The defense could have tried to deny me, but it would not have mattered. I was going to do whatever I had to come get it. Rip was very fundamentally sound and played you straight up. Fundamentally sound, though, was not going to stop me. So I sized him up, kept all that information in mind, and made him do what I wanted him to do. And just like that, the game was tied. But at number 10, when players have a chance to win the game, they make some of the craziest plays in NBA Finals history. Seven to shoot, Nowitzki. Drives with an underneath lefty layup, banks it in with 3.6 remaining. Durant 
Durant for three. It's good. Kevin Durant from downtown. Kevin Durant way outside. Delivers. Kevin Durant. It's a six-point game. Here's Ginobili. Oh, the to Ori for three. Oh. Parker on the drive. Nearly lost it. Still dribbling. Parker with two to shoot. Just gets it off the time. And he banks it in. What a shot from Parker. Game over. But not even shots that ended games were as crazy as number nine, where Julius Irving did something that no player's been able to do since. Man, he did a move, which is the all-time greatest move I've seen. It's 89-84, Sixers, and they get inside. And unbelievable, Julius Irving. Watch this fantastic move by the doctor. That play had NBA legend shook. But at number eight, Kobe Bryant's own teammate was more clutch than him twice. Bryant gets the ball in his hands, back to Ariza, over to Fisher. Fisher looking, Fisher puts up the three, ties the game! Derek Fisher ties it with four points! Bryant against Peaches, here comes the double. Up top to Fisher, straight on three, puts it in! Derek Fisher with another clutch three! Damn. I guess Kobe rubbed some of his Mamba mentality all over, dude. But not even Kobe could have stopped the NBA Finals' craziest poster dunks at number seven. Not Cam Johnson's. Hey. Cam Johnson, oh, he throws it down. Not Jamal Murray's. One man to beat Murray goes up, throws it down. Not even Manu Ginobili's. I got cold. Ginobili on the finish. Watches it with the left hand. My God, man. Manu's only 6'6 and posted the fuck out of a man who's damn near 7 feet tall? I guess size really doesn't matter. But sometimes players need a little help from their teammate to pull off one of the craziest plays in NBA Finals history, like at number 6. Booker the drive, gets inside, leans in, backed away and stolen by Holiday. Phoenix has to foul, and a pinnacle ball, throws it down! Giannis on the alley-oop, what a turnaround! The steal, the alley-oop, plus the foul, and one. But at number five, Jerry West pulled off the longest shot in finals history. It was a tie game during the 1970 NBA Finals, where both teams were hoping for a miracle. Eight seconds left to go on the clock. Seven, six, five. The Busher shoots. Hit with three seconds to go. Two seconds. One second. West throws it up. He makes it. No way. Dude really pulled it from 60 feet away and drilled it. Now I see why this man became the NBA's logo, but I think they should reconsider who the logo is after number four. Because LeBron's craziest play literally turned his opponent into his biggest fan. It was one of the loudest sounds I ever heard. Boom! <laughs> and when it happened, I kind of, I was like, damn! <laughs> I was like, yo, that was the loudest. I'm like, what just happened? I, I, I didn't even know he blocked it, but I right. heard boom. And I was like, man, that was cold. It was like a fan moment. I was right. like, man, that was beautiful. It was Cavs versus Warriors. And with the score tied up, both teams were beyond fatigue. So Golden State thought they got a lucky fast break. That block became one of the most iconic moments in NBA history. But the job wasn't finished until number three, where Kyrie Irving pulled off one of the clutchest shots of all time. Each team has a foul to give as we come up on a minute remaining. And they're putting Curry in the pick and roll, trying to get him on Irving. Irving and Curry, one on one. Irving puts it up. It's good! Kyrie Irving from downtown! And the Cavaliers by three! That's One. the other biggest regret I have in my basketball career besides getting busted for the weed was switching that pick and roll with Steph, with JR and Kyrie. I still can't, like, I, I can't bring myself to watch that footage. It's, un it's too uncomfortable, you know? <laughs> if you watch yourself, you know, I can't believe I just gave him that switch. That was a big shot. Now Kyrie got one of the greatest shots in NBA history, and I like, Steph's a great defender too, but I'm just like, man, I can't believe I conceded that switch. It still burns. That shot won Cleveland their first championship in over 50 years. It literally helped save LeBron from public embarrassment, and all he could say was, Cleveland, this is for you. But Kyrie ain't the only player who saved LeBron's legacy, because at number two, Ray Allen shocked the world. Game six of the 2013 NBA Finals was gonna decide everything for LeBron. And once again, he was making horrible play after horrible play with his squad losing. 
So with the Spurs comfortable in the lead, it was predicted that they had a 98% chance of winning the game in the series. But then, weird things started happening. A lob to box. Ginobili, meanwhile, misses. One for two. James catches, fires a three, way off. Rebound ticked, still loose, picked up by Miller. Back out to James, another three, it's good! James knocks it down! Two point game with 20 seconds remaining. Kawhi Leonard, 82% from the line. A lot of pressure on a 21 year old. Watch one there from Leonard. Should the Spurs foul? Should Miami go for the three right away? Just attack the basket. James catches, puts up a three. Won't go. Rebound, Bosch. Back out to Allen. His three-pointer. Bang! Tie game with five seconds remaining. When I saw that, I thought it was a travel. I thought his foot was on the line. I thought it was something. But somehow, Ray pulled off one of the clutchest moments in sports history and helped the Heat win game six to keep their championship hopes alive. But Ray only made one play to win that game. And number one, Michael Jordan made two good plays to win a championship. MJ had never been to a game seven in his entire playoff career. So the 1998 NBA Finals was exactly what MJ was used to, being up 3-2 in the series with a championship on the line. Fast forward to the fourth quarter though, with just 20 seconds remaining, the Bulls were down? This was unheard of, but there was no way MJ was losing. What about the last shot you ever took as a member of the Chicago Bulls? The last shot. What was that shot? Game oh. six. Utah. Malone is doubled. They swat at it and steal it. Stolen by MJ. Bulls down one. 17 seconds from championship number six. Bulls can win it right here. Unbelievable. Jordan drives. Eight. Fires. Yeah! The Bulls lead 87 86. If that's the last image of Michael Jordan, how magnificent is it? goes back to the actual beginning, you know. My career actually began on a shot, you know, to win a championship in 1982. In essence of who Michael Jordan became. Jordan! Michael Jordan! And who Michael Jordan was ended with that shot in 1998. Yup, MJ's final shot in a Bulls jersey became one of the most iconic photos in NBA history. Because with one shot, he won his third championship in a row. Six championship total, and yet that's still not as crazy as... Him being Jimmy Butler's dad? Yeah, and that's just one of the 20 things you didn't know about Jimmy. The dude was in a magazine controversy, he was homeless, the dude's the best singer in the NBA, and he literally almost died. How the hell can you still be here after hearing all that? Click it.